Okay, here we go. I just need average value, so it's... It's on Corky, right? Yeah, it's on Corky. Oh. Are you serious? I'm gonna be one off of each? Dude! Imagine if I had enough money to buy that and, sur and enough HP to survive. And then next round we hit both. Box box, I don't know why you didn't use the dice when you had 30 gold. Nah, you're literally a dumbass. Okay, here, I'll, I'll explain it to you in case you genuinely don't understand. Uh, if you load a dice at the beginning, you're, you're literally trolling. You're literally throwing the game if you load a dice at the beginning. You need to load it, you need to roll until you're like at the end of your lifespan and then you load a dice at the end. And the reason for this is because your loaded dice is disregarding the pool. If you loaded dice correctly, you ignore how many Sonas are left in the pool or you ignore how many Corky is left in the pool. When you're rolling for your three star Sona or your three star Corky, the most expensive part is the final like two or three Sonas or Corkies. Because at that point, most of them are out of the pool. You are, whatever your original odds of hitting were, you're now like between one third and one fifth as likely to hit it depending on how hard you're contested. But the loaded dice disregards all of that. The loaded dice will give you the same amount of Corkies and Sonas, like, naturally. Assuming you do it correctly. The only thing we could have done differently was just, like, optimize the rest of the game to survive a little bit longer. Having one more life there would have made a huge difference. Box box, you needed the gold. No, <laughs> you don't need the gold. The only reason I needed the gold is because I ended up with eight Sonas and eight Corkies. But if I if I hit either one of them three star, I would have sold the other one. Like I, I know how much gold it costs to buy five Sonas. The answer is twenty. I I know that I can sell units on my board to make twenty gold. The reason why we rolled there was so that we knew which of the two units to go for. Because imagine if I didn't know which unit to go for, right? Yeah, it sucks that on that roll down I only hit one Sona. But like, at least it told me that I'm going to triple load a dice with the intention of hitting Sona. Because it's very different if you triple load a dice with the intention of hitting Corky. Obviously, the way it played out, because Sona's loaded dice unit is Corky, like it ended up being in such a way that we actually got more Corkies than Sona's. But like, whatever, that's just the way the game goes. Imagine if on that roll down, I hit two Corkies, then like it was actually really free uh, because the loaded dice is actually a lot more likely to give me Corkies. It's actually a big shame that we hit Sona at the beginning because it was easier to hit the Corky. But yeah, I guess the TLDR, there are a lot of really stupid people out there who don't understand how loaded dice math works and it infuriates me. Please just let me play the game, my man. Is there a reason why it's not just best to load a dice the Sona for more Sonas? That's not how loaded dice works. A loaded dice is actually quite complicated. You probably have to look up the wiki if you want to understand exactly how it works. It's like, the way they do loaded dice is not very intuitive. You would think that you should load a dice the unit that you want, but unfortunately, no. They didn't make it that way. They made it like really complicated. Why are you so mean today? I don't think I'm being mean. Do you guys think I'm being mean? I am, I am responding to dumbasses in a very, uh, very angry way, yeah? The annoying dumbasses, yes, I am being very mean to them. The only reason you would be offended is if you were an annoying dumbass. Like, I don't care if you don't know how something works. I only care if you try to backseat the shit out of me. Like, bro, why didn't you do this? You're literally trolling. But then you're also wrong. When that happens, I get like stupidly mad. It's actually infuriating. Like, if, if you were asking an honest question of like, yeah, like, why don't you load it? Like, how come it's not loaded dice Sona? I'll tell you why it's not loaded dice Sona. Because they the loaded dice formula is like weird. And you actually need to load a dice different units that have Sona as their, their uh, highest output unit. Uh, and the way it works is kind of complicated, and usually you have to just go look at a website to find the, the correct unit. Like literally whenever I get loaded dice, I pull up this chart, I type in Corky, and then it tells me loaded dice your Tristana at level 8 for 1.3 Corkies per loaded dice on average. Right? You can sort of math it out yourself, but like, who has the time for that? You, you only have 30 seconds to think, just look at the chart. If you ask an honest question, I'll give you an honest answer. If you backseat like an idiot, I will answer you like an idiot. I would be very surprised if people thought I was actually being mean with the way I was talking last game. All I did was respond to dumbasses and made fun of them. 
Bruiser, shapeshifter. Okay, I've solved this game. It's free. I've already calculated my free top four. I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to play either Shio Yu or Siphon, and I'm going to win the game. As long as I hit one of them in a reasonable period of time, I will win the game. I'm going to go 7, I'm going to roll for a 1 star dragon. As long as I hit within like 10 rolls, I'm going to be in a very strong start. I'm going to hold units that go well with both of these dragons, and then whichever one I hit, hopefully we can flex around it. Uh, here's Jade Dragon Mancer. And then we can play Twitch at level 5. Oh, this game is free. Box Box, do the Jade Dragon, he's cooler. Yes, let me just make an appointment with him. Let me, uh... He, he apparently has a, a level 7 reservation available. Should we book that? Wait, but Siphon has a level 6 appointment available. Maybe that's better. What about the level 5 reservation? Uh, no, the level 5 reservations are reserved for high rollers. I actually feel like there's been a very high increase of like amount of level 5 dragons I've seen. And I realize the reason. It's because... The odds of getting any dragon at all, whether it be Siphon, Shioyu, Edos, or uh, Deja, it's, a it's actually quite high. It's like 4% every roll at level 5. If you don't care which dragon you get, your odds of hitting is like 4%. So if you if you and 6 other players all level to 5, the odds of any one of the 6 players in the game hitting a dragon is actually quite high. It's like 1 in 4 to 1 in 5, somewhere around that. There's no way I get that item, right? Uh, it's probably just Cloak. Cloak builds into a lot of useful things here. I'm not gonna build the stone plate uh, because stone plate is really bad for siphon. So we're gonna just hold it and see if we can turn it into a QSS or a hurricane. Oh, hello Shaolin Funk. Here's an Olaf. Now my gut tells me Olaf is bad. As much as I like an Olaf, I don't think it's playable here. So what instead what I should do is play guardians like that. I'm also down to hide my, uh, my guy. Oh, I also could have played uh, just the Twitch. Why is stone plate bad for siphon? It's because when you play Siphon, you play six bruisers and you put them all in a line and there's no room for one person to solo front line. Your goal is to get all six bruisers to share the damage equally. So Siphon, or the stone play actually doesn't work well. Wait, what the hell? Ass Karma? What the f***? I have to make a choice here on which one I think I'm gonna hit. I can sell Nar Twitch, which means I think I'm gonna hit Siphon. Or I could sell Olaf and Thresh, which means I think I'm gonna hit Shioyu. Hello, Gumi. Nice to see you here. Actually, then I should also buy this Twitch. Oh, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream, Gumi. One day we'll play Valorant together again. I'm still training so I can be good enough to play with you. And John. All right, to those of you come- Oh! That is an early Zaya. Zaya is actually not that strong nowadays, but the fact that I have Zaya, Twitch pair, and Sejuani pair, I've already have, I have already have like most of the build for her. Oh, and a Cav Spat. Oh, that's a two-star Twitch. Oh, that's a Kiana. Okay, it definitely looks like a Zaya game. The only thing that doesn't look like a Zaya game are the items. Okay, think about this. Think about this. Dink donk. Dink donk. Okay, here's a QSS. Cavalier spat, honestly, sounds pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm definitely playing Zaya from this point. I... I was holding units to set up for Shioyu, which also happened to line up with Zaya, and now I just randomly hit uh, the actual Zaya itself. So I'm definitely down to force it. Zaya has been less popular now. Uh, she's still very hot, but she's just not very good anymore. But if the game's gonna put Zaya into my lap, flush, and yes, I'm down. So let's go ahead and sell. Sell the units that probably won't get played. But buy the sets because I might rebuild them. Don't need Karma. Uh, don't need Ash. Okay, so all I have to do now is hit one Talon, one Ornn, and go seven. Don't you have good enough health to force Siphon? 
I mean, my build was really gearing up for a shield you. Oh, Pandora's items. Okay, if I take Pandora's items, I guarantee that I can get the correct ones. I'm down. Yeah, I'm diggity down, dog. Just play two, two of these guys for now. Uh, I could even rebuild this BT. I guess the question is, is this BT worth? The BT is definitely good right now, but the only unit who could use it late game would be a Talon. And it's like, do I really want to play around a Talon? Uh, I think I'm down to like let that item reroll soon. Okay, so then I'm I'm down to greed best in slot for Zaya, so that's Gwinsu's Giant Slayer from this point. Uh, so it's probably just going to be... Yeah, I'm down to down to hold this. The problem with this is what I'm thinking is like it's gonna be hard to get a bow on carousel, so I'm gonna have to get whatever component and let it reroll. Something I could do here, it's probably not worth it, but I could let this reroll, try to hit a bow, and then get the easier to get rod. Ooh. Okay, no cap. I have Pandora's item, so I could literally pivot back. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy the shield you. Play it for right now. Am I playing a horse on you? It doesn't do anything because I don't have. Uh, l let's put it on set and then we can reroll it later if we think that it's not going to be useful. Okay, so now that I have one Shioyu, one Zaya. Honestly, like, these two can be played on the same board. Uh, which actually means I need the Ash back. Baby, come back! What about Ragewing Shio Yu? Ragewing is just like one of the worst designed spats in the game. It's just like so useless. There, I'm pretty sure there are literally zero units in the game who like Ragewing spat. It's more like you reluctantly put it on someone to get the synergy. Okay, I need a bow. Three gold bow, otherwise I'll just take highest gold and let it reroll. Bows are very popular. Yes, of course, somebody pinged it the moment I said I need a bow. What about Ragewing Volibear? It's not good. There, I think there's literally zero units to become strong with Ragewing Spat. Uh, at most, there's like a side grade where like, you don't get that much worse with it. Let me see what the Shimmer Skill item is. Goldmancer stuff. What about Deja? No, they've changed Deja. It's no longer good. Okay, it's a huge shame like, I think Zaya is interesting, but in general, the Rage Wing emblem just like really, really sucks. Okay. If I end up playing Guild Zaya, like this horse is really good. This horse emblem, just great for my front line. But I don't think I can fit in this, uh, this Sejuani. I mean, I guess I could at level seven. I can play Guild Zaya with Shioyu taking up um, Kiana and Orn's spots. Is Dragon Mancer Zaya trolling? Oh, absolutely, it's trolling. That shit's completely useless. Oh, let's go, Twitch! You deserve to dance, buddy. That's a clutch. Three HP, Giga Chad. Okay. Um. It must be done. I always find a way. Do I even want this cane? Do I even want this Swain? I feel like the answer is no. I just want frontline units. Okay, definitely gearing up for the Zaya. Uh, if I want to be open for to play the Shioyu, what I could do is we could do Shioyu, Ash. Uh, oh, Swain would actually be in this build. It'd be Ash, Nar, Nico. Then you have Swain and Set. That gives you Rage Wing, Six Jade, Dragon Mancer. And shapeshifter. Holy shit, that's like a nuts synergy. Oh, but I want the Hecarim for horses, huh? Man. Okay, well. There's like four combinations of this build I'm down to play. Some of them involve Shioyu, some of them don't. We'll see what we hit. But I'm down to hold on to the Swain. Okay, hold on to the Ash. Okay, so for these items, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a dummy unit right here. Lilia. Eep! You're the dummy unit. Okay, so if I get any relevant items here, so uh, sword bow, I'm gonna immediately slam it. Otherwise, I'm gonna let it reroll. I need to be ready. I need to pick up the items instantly. I see a lot of people do this wrong when you have Pandora. It's like, you basically get a free reforge. You get like a free second chance. So like, oh, Nar. 
Wrong item, wrong item. Wrong item. Wait. I could have two horse spats. Bro, I could have two horse spats. Also, hitting that Zaya is like kind of crazy high roll. Definitely just level up. Just like play this for now. Oh wait. No, it's this one. Yeah, I think it's two horse spats and then you do a horse on you. I'm trying to think of like any other, like I guess you could technically do assassin. I don't think we need it. Coach said to never level up and not roll. Nah, that's not what Coach said. Coach said you should usually level up and roll at the same time. But like, I, I'm strong, right? I hit my Zaya. I don't need to roll. I, I'm not going to lose. And even if I am, like, it, it'll at least be like good losses. My board is 100% stable. Why not IE? No, IE just like sucks. It's one of those things where you would think it'd be good on Zaya, but the sad truth is like, uh, Giant Slayer is just a lot better. Interesting. I could play Swift Shot. I could play four Swift Shots. I could play Swift Shot Shield you. No, I don't think it's good. Like, who cares about four Swift Shot? Uh, let's reroll. Oh, Guild Crest? Oh, I've already slammed the item. I already slammed the item. All right. Wait, maybe Guild on you? No, it has to be Sunfire Board. This is so sad. Dude, this is so sad. It's so sad that it has to be this way. I wish we could have done something more exciting, but like, Sunfire is definitely good. I have no anti-heal, so it 100% gives me value. If I had, if I didn't slam the item on Zaya, the the sword already, I would have done guild Zaya and it would have been lit. Okay, now I need to wait for this thing to reroll into a chain vest and then we go maximum horsepower. I'm actually down to lose the Shiyu. I I'm like imagining the synergies I could get. Also, by the way, the fact that I natural the Zaya too is absolutely ridiculous. Naturaling a Zaya 2 at level 7 is crazy. I've had games where I roll like 50 gold at 7 and cannot hit Zaya 2. But I guess this is like what happens when you're flexible. I was not originally looking to play Zaya. We hit one, we're like, it could work, and then we hit the other two. It's it's a combination of being lucky and being flexible. We were down to make the pivot from our original game plan. And if you're down to do that, like then most of the time you'll hit something. It was level 6. Oh, wait, wait you're right. What the f***? That's even luckier. Wait, I'm like actually just a lucky bastard. What the hell? I win for free. Level six, best in slot Zaya. Horse on you. Yeah, we did say today that I'm not gonna use my brain. I'm gonna just like let the game play for me. Are we gonna put Shannon over set? Uh, at two star, yeah. But right now, like one star or two star set is tankier. Um. I want a chain, otherwise I want highest gold. Let's grab the quirky. Literally all I want is this chain vest so I can go horse on you. Horse on who? Horse on you. Um, Playing this unit's like not gonna contribute any value right now. I could just play this Lulu. Okay, I'm not gonna do this now so I can move the horse. You're a horse. All right, it's a Talon and Orn waiting room. Shav Shiv Hana? Yeah, I'm down, it's definitely an upgrade. Am I down to do horse dragon? Honestly, kind of woke. Oh, I didn't move my shine in time. Oh god, it's ass fan. Surely this ass fan doesn't one shot my Zaya, right? You know what's really troll? If if ass fan or siphon in general gets to your Zaya, there's still a chance, like right here, uh, that he doesn't hit his like 2,000 damage auto because of a dodge chance. Literally, my Zaya has like 20% or 15% dodge chance. And this is a random chance that I just don't die and I win the fight off of it. So every time you play uh, Siphon against someone with a QSS, you have a 15% chance of just losing the round. It's kind of dumb. Okay, so I want an odd number components. Um, no, I want an odd number. And then I'll just let him reroll into whatever. Okay, this is actually really good. So I think what we do is we take this. Yeah, just take this. 
And we just like let it reroll into whatever we want. I'm down to keep the redemption. Who's gonna hold it? For now, you can hold it, your temporary unit. I uh, do I care about Zeke's? Not really. What are the best items I can build here? Uh, down for a Morello's Shivana. And then we're gonna let these three reroll until one of them becomes a chain vest, and then yeah. Okay. Oh, I have Sunfire Board. Oh fuck. I always forget about that interaction. Alright, it's fine. I can do something about it. Don't worry, I promise that there's something interesting we can do. It'll make it like I never trolled it at all. Alright. Um the reason I don't want to slam any items here. Actually, you know what? I was gonna say the reason I don't want to slam any items here is because I want to have the highest odds of hitting in the chain vest. Because I really need the extra horse spat, but I'm down to just like. Yeah, I'm down to like just try to reforge into it. One out of nine. Okay, in three fights, I should be able to go nine here. I uh, so what we can do with the, about this Morellos? I forgot I had Sunfire Board, so that's that's a troll on my part. So what we can do is uh, at nine, you actually don't need to play Shivana, and we can get rid of that item. Here's Orin. Oh, actually, I can get rid of her right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is actually better. Okay, so Horson, reforge this and this and this. Oh, I got the chain. Oh fuck. Is Kiana really a horse? I don't know if she's actually a horse. Well, I guess you are now. Okay, I'm gonna let these items reroll. I don't really like these ones. Save the IE for Talon. No, this is a build where Zaya does 100% of the damage. Or she doesn't literally do 100%, but like you kind of want her to. So it's like, don't it if you have the option to, every single item should just be tank. Every single item should be a tank item until, um, uh, unless you're forced to not do that. Okay, perfect. I want a level here. I really want a level here, but coach would say no. No, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm pretty sure leveling and just playing this unit is pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's high value. Because literally, like, all of my offense I could ever need is already settled, right? It's the Zaya with her synergies, and now it's just, like, play a shit ton of tanks. Uh, and eventually the Talon. The reason we play Talon is because we... she makes Zaya stronger. Oh, I still lost. Wait, I just grab a tank item or a support item. So Lost Whisper is good here. Zeke's is good. Warmog's is good. Warmog is actually crazy good here if I can get that. Oh, it's gone. Uh, Last Whisper is fine. Wait, I can't believe I lost. What the hell? Who did I lose to? This mage, Sona 2, just wiped my entire board. Five Cavaliers got wrecked by this, really? Oh, here's the Talon. Okay, we don't need two Redemptions. Down to keep letting it reroll. Okay. This sh I want to say this is good enough, but I've lost the last three fights, so maybe it's not good enough. All right, I'll just save up money and go for two stars. Down to leave Talon in the middle. We just want Talon to touch as many people with his ult as possible. Ideally, he ults right before Zaya ults, and then um, it makes like everybody take less or increased damage. Talon will shred them in an AOE, and then Zaya will, will kill him. No cap, this Yasuo is kind of popping off. Wait, no way I lose this, right? I can't kill this Yasuo. Oh my god. What? This guy out life still. Holy shit. Okay, okay, I understand. The dragon nears. Pretty sure this is better. Like, Twitch gave a lot of attack speed, but Shivana gives even more attack speed. And I didn't really need the Nunu there. Put the Morellos on. No, I've got Sunfire Board. We literally just had this conversation like five rounds ago where I misplayed by slamming a Morellos. I did it! I won a round! Okay, this was definitely a little bit stronger. Yeah, like, I gave up some attack speed on Zaya by losing Guild plus uh, Swift Shot. 
plus the Twitch specific synergy, but this should be fine. Okay, this is a good unit. This is a good item. Uh, I'm done just like hold this on the Jinx. And we just roll for two stars now. Okay, that's definitely why I'm losing. I got one star Orin, one star Shen, one star Hecarim. Why Talon over Twitch? Uh, Cause I think flat attack speed matters more. Flat, or sorry, flat damage matters more than the attack speed. Okay, let's roll down. I'm down to thin the pool. Uh, okay, at this point, I'm down to just give the Infinity Edge to Talon. Down to give this to Shivana for dodge chance. Box, box, I is viable on Talon now that he has Lost Whisper. Uh, they actually changed it. You don't need, um, you don't need crit chance for Lost Whisper. They changed it to physical damage. Uh, not necessarily crits. Yeah, I don't really know when they changed it. I guess it was at the beginning of the set. But like now, now Lost Whisper is definitely a support item rather than a carry item. All right, every round is just donkey roll for your... Interesting. Uh, I want to say there's no way I'm getting this, but I'm like kind of down to hold on to it. No, no, I'm definitely trolling if I hold on to it. I need to... Goodbye, my queen. No, no, no. I definitely didn't have enough money to, to get that. He's gonna move to the here at the last second. I already know. He didn't move at the last second. Man, yeah, no, there, there's no way I could afford Zaya three. Also, like I'm at two lives, so there's no way I can justify uh, holding like f seven Zayas when I still have one star. Everything else, I'd rather get my two stars and have a chance at killing this guy. Cutscene. Cutscene. All right. Oh, okay. Down to win and buy this. Okay, great thing is no one's playing any assassins. So my Zaya is like completely safe. You don't have to protect her. You can just like play frontline backline. So Hecarim should be opposite the enemy carry. I guess it doesn't matter here because he's got it. Oh, I know, where, I know exactly where I put my Hecarim. Down to spread out a good amount. And then it's at the last second. Okay, it looks like he didn't move. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I got a I got a shroud on his whole team. The, the fact that he has all these Zeeks actually like kind of shoots him in the foot here. Your whole team gets stun locked. My Zaya gets insane value. He's dead. Dies a cutscene. Hello, Tommy Connoisseur. Okay, yeah, this game like was completely handed to me. Holy shit. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's Dragon's Claw here. Looking at his board, yeah. It's just Dragon's Claw on like whoever can hold it. Um, would I ever play a Yasuo here? Hmm, yeah. I guess not. Oh my God, Dragon's Claw on the Dragon? Pog. He's gonna swap to the. Gotcha. This guy's got a Warmogs on bench. Okay, let's see if this is a Dragon's Claw on a Dragon diff. It's, a lot of this is gonna be RNG. If his Jizz monster jizzes on my Zaya one too many times, it's over. Okay, alive. I think it's a cutscene. He didn't kill my Zaya. Game's over. Bye bye. Dude. The game just handed me a first place. Imagine naturaling Azaya, Azaya 2 at level 6. What the hell? Did I roll at all? I don't think I rolled at all before hitting that Zaya 2.